In this demonstration, we're going to show you how to create an editable table using pop-ups. Um, I did a demo before, it's much simpler with this version, so let's see what we do. First thing, put a table on the page and hook it up to a business object. Then pick the fields that you want to show in the table, in this case it's going to be the department and max salary, and finish the wizard to get data into the table. This creates a service data provider behind the scene, fetches the data into it and show it's in the table. Now we want to be able to edit each one of those rows and to do that we're going to pick up a hyperlink component and drag it to create a new column in the table, simply put it here in the empty space, and then you can configure it, for example, give the action name to the hyperlink, and you can also click on the table itself and if you go to the data tab you can change the title of this column, so for example you can call it action or just edit or whatever you want. Alright, so that's the basic layout for the table. And next thing we need is we need um, to be able to edit values, so to do that we're going to create a new data type from an endpoint. Okay, so we're going to pick up the get a single record, pick up the fields we want to be able to um, fill, also pick up the ID field, this is quite important, you'll see it later on where we're going to use it. So we created this new get department data type, and now we're going to create a new variable based on this data type, in this case we're going to call it a current department and pick up the new data type we created over here. So now that we have a variable, we can create a couple of UI components to show data from this variable, so we'll pick up one input text and another one, put it just below it, and uh, change the titles for the fields here, and then bind the data um, in the a property for each one of those fields to the new variable that we created and a specific attribute here, so this would be the department and this would be the max salary, both of them in the current department variable. Alright, so now what we need to do is create a situation where when we click on the edit button we get the values into those two fields. To do that, let's go and create a new event on the edit link and just use an assign variable operation over here to get the data. So if you look, this action has a current object being passed to it, and we're going to drag it over and refer to the current dot row as the value that we're going to put into the current department variable. Okay, so we added the dot row after that. If we run the page right now, okay, you'll notice that when we click on any of the edit, we see the data below it in the two fields. All right, so this basically completes a basic layout that would allow us to edit the values or see the values in those two fields. What we want to do now is do this in a pop-up. So now we have the dialog component built into here and we're going to drag and drop it into our user interface. You then can find it using the structure pane and you might want to uh, click the show option over here to show the dialog, okay, because by default it's hidden. Alright, so now we can just drag and drop those grid rows with the two fields into the dialog using the structure pane again. This is a nice functionality that we introduced in the structure pane. And then there's this button, we can uh, switch it to say for example save instead of button. We can also change the title of the dialog and simply use the property inspector to do that. Okay, so now the last step that we need to do now is to um, add a step in the edit um, link action. So we have an action chain here, right? Right now we're just assigning the variables, but what we also want to do is to show the dialog. So we'll pick up the call component method, add it to the flow, actually we might want to edit it after the assigned variable, although both places would work, and then what we need to do is assign the component that we want to interact with and the method we want on this component. So we picked up the dialog and we're going to pick up the open 
method on it. Okay, so this allows us to very easily invoke a method on a UI component. So now if we're in live mode, click edit, it would open the dialog and we would see the data for the specific row we clicked on in the nice dialog. The save button still doesn't work, so let's go over and add some logic to the save button. Click on the button, and you can then go and add an event to this button. And in this event, what we want to do is we want to update the business object. So we're going to use the REST endpoint um, for updating a business object, and we're going to call it over here. Okay, so let's pick up the uh, patch operation for department. Okay, this operation requires a department ID as a parameter. Uh, in the current department, if you remember correctly, we added the ID field, so now we can just map it here. Okay, and then the body that we're passing over here would be the whole current department object. This is the body that is passed to the patch operation. The next step after this is successful is to go over and uh, refresh what we see in the table. So we're going to use the fire data provider event. We're going to issue a refresh event for the service data provider variable that populates the table. And the last step in the action chain would be again a component method on the same dialog that we used before. Okay. This time we're going to close the dialog because we finished editing. And that's basically it. We can go back into our live mode over here, click to edit, update, for example, the salary, click save, this posts the change to the database, close the dialog, and refreshes the table to show us the new data. If we run the page, you're going to see the same behavior. Just click on any row that you want, show it in the dialog, update the value, click save, and the results are saved.